Greetings fellow mathematicians and welcome back to the Art of Integration, where the focus is on building your mathematical problem solving skills. Now the integral in question here is certainly very complicated and it's difficult due to the natural log term. If this were just the integral of cosine of x times tangent, think of tangent as sine divided by cosine, the factors of cosine of x would cancel, leaving you with the integral of just sine of x. So here, this integral is difficult due to the natural log of cosine of x term. Now, we're going to use what's called an advanced substitution. The basic version is x equals a function of t. That's sometimes referred to as an inverse substitution. The version that we'll be using is a little bit more general. A function of x equals a function of t. And how you choose those functions, that's the art of integrating here. Now let's take a look again at why this integral is difficult. The natural log term. If we had as the inside to the natural log function an exponential function, logs and exponentials cancel. So let's try for our inside here, let's try cosine of x equals e to the t. And that will be our advanced substitution. So let's write that down, e to the t, equals cosine of x. And make sure you see why that's going to work here. If you go ahead and plug that in, replace cosine of x with e to the t, natural log of e to the t will cancel, leaving you with just t. Now we still need to properly convert from an integral in terms of x to now an integral in terms of t. So we're going to need to calculate a differential here, basically just differentiate the exponential function and the cosine function. We'll get e to the t dt equals now the derivative of cosine of x, negative sine of x, dx. All right, now in order to get this substitution to work, we would need a factor of sine of x. And we can maybe see that here by rewriting tangent as sine divided by cosine. Don't be afraid to try to rewrite your original integral in addition to using a substitution. All right, so let's first rewrite tangent as sine divided by cosine. So we'll keep this as natural log of cosine of x and then times sine of x divided by cosine of x. All right, now we need sine of x dx, also the negative, but let me go ahead and bring that negative to the other side. We'll write that as negative e to the t dt equals sine of x dx. And to make the replacements a little bit more obvious, let me rewrite this fraction as 1 over cosine of x times sine of x. We'll keep the natural log of cosine of x term the same. We'll write that as a factor of 1 over cosine of x and then times sine of x dx. And now we should be able to implement our substitution. Let's go ahead and plug that in everywhere. Cosine of x, that's going to be replaced with e to the t. Let's take it term by term. So we'll get natural log of e to the t, which will cancel. Also here, we're going to replace cosine of x with e to the t. So we get 1 over. e to the t, and then sine of x dx, we get to replace that with negative e to the t dt. And notice what happens here, those exponentials cancel out, and we get a very simple integral. Don't forget here, that's going to cancel, that was the whole reason we made this substitution, natural log of e to the t cancels to t, and we have a very simple integral, negative t dt. And that we can integrate with the power rule. Just go ahead and integrate that. You should get negative 1 half t 
squared plus an integration constant. And now we just need to back substitute t in terms of the original variable x. So let's go to our original advanced substitution, e to the t equals cosine of x. And we need to basically solve that for t, which is very common in using advanced and inverse substitutions. So we can just take the natural log of each side, natural log of e to the t, that will cancel. And it looks like you should get here t equals natural log of cosine of x. So just be careful and use parentheses there. Maybe think of using a set of parentheses or brackets there. So if you go ahead and replace t with natural log of cosine of x, we should get our antiderivative as negative at one half, and then times natural log of cosine of x, all squared. And don't forget the plus c. And there we go. Now, once you find or see that this substitution works, all of the following work is actually really simple. And again, here the art is in choosing those functions of x and functions of t. And with practice, you can definitely go through a lot of other complicated integrals using similar substitutions. If you're enjoying this series, The Art of Integration, go ahead and check in the description down there and over to the side, links to some other videos in this series, The Art of Integration. I have a whole bunch from before and there'll be a whole bunch more coming. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, support the channel, like and subscribe.